Hey guys, we are still on a high from beating Barcelona last episode. If you did not see that, I implore you, go back and watch it. Oh my goodness, I still think that is my biggest win in football manager history. Uh, but uh, today we have two Champions Leagues. Uh, one we're going to play out, one we're going to look at the highlights, and we've got some scores to look at as well. So let's roll the intro and get into the business of today's episode. Hope you guys are having a good Friday or whatever day you're watching this. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 21. This is our Climbing the Ladder, Glory Seeker, Glory Hunter save, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we are playing with one club in this save. It is DeGroff Shop. And last season, we got the club's best ever finish. And we just beat Barcelona in our first ever Champions League group stage match. I believe it's my first Champions League of Football Manager 21 as well. So very excited about that. Uh, let's get into it. After that win, a 4 nothing win over the hot, the Hague. Uh, Momsilovic with a goal. Marcus Baumgartner. Ronnie Ebers got on the score sheet right at the end of regulation time. And Kernjik a minute later in stoppage time, just adding insult to injury. And a 4-1 win over NEC. And that looked good. Resnick with a goal. Demir had two goals that came off of corners where he found himself at the back post putting in some brilliant finishes. He came in off the bench. And then Ronnie Evers with a late goal to ice that one 4-1. to one. Uh, I'm going to play standard right now. We'll take a look at the highlights uh, here in just a second. And then again, as I mentioned, we will uh, play Gronigan and Breda off camera. And then we'll play Besiktas here uh, in this episode. So let me get cranking on the on the job at hand. We'll have highlights in just a second. So this is our second group stage match against Standard de Liège, and uh, you can see we are getting off to a big start. Baumgartner into the box, crosses the keeper up, beats Boynson, and we take a one nil lead. And it was wondered for just a moment if we could pull two miracles in a row. But they get one over the top. Dimitrovic gets beaten by Ture. And there was an equalizer in the 28th minute. And just a few minutes later, 34th minute, Ture holds it up, beats Dimitrovic again, and then just blows it past Kaiser. Two to one advantage for Standard. And they would up it again. Ture this time, but he lays it off. And Garley with the empty netter. And we found ourselves in a 3-1 hole early in the second half. In the 84th minute, they would ice it. Kaiser gets beaten. Top bends on the back post by Samal or Simeo. Nagy, we're looking for something here late in the game. Cervenka, a tap through to Evers. And Evers just stays alive on the ball. Puts it in. Another late goal in stoppage time for him. 17 shots to 11, but a 14-6 advantage on target. And we fall in this one 4-2. to two. So if we take a look at Group B after the second match, uh, looks like Barcelona did get the win, but uh, we have them on head-to-head. -head. They have the goal of differential now, thanks to that loss. So we have our work cut out. Besiktas is almost a must-win for us now. It's going to be an uphill climb. I still don't think we're going to make it out of group stage, but I am so, so happy that we beat Barcelona. You have no idea. All right, let me get these other two matches in the league played, uh, and then we'll take a look at those. We'll jump into the league standings for just a second, and then we'll take on Besiktas. So we beat Groningen 4-1. to one. Vicario got the start. He got on the score sheet. Then it was Momsilovic, Resnick, and Kurdov with the goals in the 4-1 victory. Uh, Beretta beat us 2-1. to one. Demir with another goal for us. But uh, we got, and, and they had a player sent off. It was late. But we found ourselves in a 2-0 hole, and we really never looked competitive in this one. 
But uh, we do play Beshiftus today. Taking a look at the standings for the league table. We're currently dead set in 10th position, 12 points from 9. Only 5 points off of uh, Europe. Uh, but uh, mm, we got a ways to go now. A uh, couple of teams up there that are really overperforming this year based on previous years. Uh, but Matesi is really running away with it right now. Four points clear of Heronveen. Uh, PSV's up there. FC20's made a rebound. Villem up there like most years. Sparta's up there. They were near the bottom last year. So a lot of teams up there contending this year. But we do play Besiktas tomorrow. Well, it'll be today in just a minute. Melvin Gerver was hurt. Let's jump over to the medical center. Uh, he was hurt. Uh, in the win over Groningen. Uh, luckily, he was supposed to miss about five weeks. Uh, international break came kind of right in the middle of all that, so that was about two weeks. So he's only got about 10 days. So jumping ahead in the schedule, we'll have him back for the second leg of Champions League, so that's good news. But we were without him uh, against uh, Breda. And we'll be without him uh, today as well. All right, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Dimitrovich has been a little hit and miss. But we're going to put him on the bench. You can see he's playing a 6-7-4. Vandehorst a 6-6-4. So I'm going to pull those guys out. So we're going to go with uh, Kaiser in goal playing a 6-9-8. Uh, Grizel has played well in limited action since his debut at the beginning of the season. He's playing a 7-0-4 through his three matches. So we'll bring him in. Uh, Kurdov will be in there, and then we're going to give uh, Joseph Kaisela uh, a match. He's playing a 6-9-6 as well. Uh, we'll have Demir, who's playing that 7-2-4, four goals in six matches so far. So he definitely deserves a start on that right wing. Boldy playing a 6-6-8. Uh, maybe. Let's bring Grutunk in for him. I think we'll do that. And let's go ahead and bench Vanderhorst. And let's bring let's bring DeVos onto the bench. All right. So we're going to make a few changes today. Let's go with Kaiser in goal, Kaisela, Kurdov, and Grizel on the back line. With Gerver being out, uh, we're going to bring Grizel in for him. And I'm going to bring uh, Kaisela in for Dimitrovic, who's been struggling a little bit. Baumgartner's looked pretty solid. He's playing a 7-2-2 with two goals this season. Uh, Demir has looked really solid. Uh, he has four goals in six matches and playing a 7-2-4 on the season. Momsilovic in the middle. Grutung's going to come in uh, in replace of Faldi, uh, the Loney, who's been yeah, he's been a little, little uh, lukewarm. Uh, so let's give Grutung to start. Resnick in the number 10. Again, that's because Vanderhorst has looked a little shaky uh, so far this year, and that leaves Ebers and Kernjik up top, and, which I think is my best three goal scoring partnership. So, anyway, that's what we're going to do for against uh, Besiktas today. Hopefully, it will pay off. And look at the stadium sold out. Look at all the people. I guess we've got one of the little corners if we had anybody travel. All right, we're going to go with the encouragement here. 11 minutes in, not a lot happening. Momsilovich gets the first highlight into the box, and it's headed down. They've got a good counter opportunity. Two on two. Kurdov doesn't close on it, and that is crossed over by Igor, but wide of the goal. Nobody making a run. But then Besiktas in with another highlight. It's cleared away. Baumgartner runs onto it. Kernjik's up there. He also has Demir. Demir picks it up, lays it back across. It's tipped away, and Kernjik taps it in. Easy goal for him, and that's his third goal of the season. We take a 1-0 lead. We have been up in every match in Champions League so far here in the first round. Is that crazy? Hopefully this will be more Barcelona-esque rather than uh, standard, <laughs> but uh, we got a long way to go. 17th minute, one nothing advantage. 
Uh, Mom Silovich came off of Madston, and he just made a great move. He's nursing a little injury, it looks like, but Kaiser makes the save there. All right, we're going to go encouraging again. Demir, he threw it over Baumgartner. I'm not exactly sure why he would do that, but it is what it is. Squared into Grutunk, laid back. There's Grizel, the youngster. Don't sit on that ball, man. Oh, and he misplays it. And luckily, not a whole lot there. Demir cuts off that attempt, lays it in. Kernjik. Oh, and he's taken down. I don't know if that was a, a hard foul, but he nursed it. And I think we're going to get a penalty out of this. It wasn't a dive. I mean, he certainly got hit, and he, he gets the penalty. Good acting. But a good move as well. Momsilovich lines this one up, puts it in the corner, and it makes it 2 0 to Graf Shop. And this is a road leg against Besiktas, too. So our second leg will be a home leg against them. Very nice finish. Way to go, boys. Boy, Grizel just looks a little rough on that ball. It goes over. Ebers is on it. Uh, it looks like it was tapped away. I think we'll get the corner out of that, and we do. Momsilovich is going to line that up. It's an outswinger, and it goes over. We're looking pretty solid here. Barcelona and Standard are at a 1-1 draw. Oh my goodness, Baumgartner almost plays that one out of bounds. Could have been a better job there. Demir lays it off to Resnick. He makes a move. Into the box. Crossed in. Oh, and Baumgartner couldn't find the finish. It's just knocked clear, but not hard enough to go out of bounds. Grutuk runs it down, and we reset the attack. Now, we did just play three days ago. We are going with most of our starters. So, a oh, good stab away by Grutunk there. Oh, it goes over, and Ebers is on sides. He beats the keeper. Tenth goal of the season for Ronnie. What a signing he has been here in the early going. And it's 3 nothing to Graf shot. And we are going to... Oh, no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say that yet. But this is our third Champions League match. I'm going to praise them here. And we go in at half to Graf Shop 3, Besiktas nil, 12 shots to 5, and we've got a 2.92 XG in the first half. Keep them motivated. They make a sub at the intermission. We do have a couple of guys tired. We'll have to keep an eye on that. We're going to give them some encouragement here in the early going. And we get the first highlight of the second half. Kernjik looking for space. Over to Momsilovic. A good tap in. And it's Resnick, his third goal of the season. And that makes it to Graf Shop 4. Besiktas nil. Oh, and the Besiktas fans are rioting. Luckily, we don't see flares. I'm trying to see if we have, uh, do we have any away fans? They've got to be down in this corner here. Or is that us over there? Maybe right here? Not positive. Not positive. Well, he did a good job staying on sides there. Things are looking really good. I think I'm going to try something. I think I'm going to go to that four back, four on the back line. If I have enough people that can play the left and right back, I, I, that's a question. Grizel. He looked solid right there. A little shaky, but, you know, not, not deft. Over the top, Kernjik, and he turns it in. He's got a brace. Fourth goal of the season, second today, and it is 5-0. And this is going to help our goal advantage, because remember, we had that loss to standard. And Besiktas lost to Barcelona, and the goal differential gave them the advantage. So even if we lose to Barca in the next leg, 
This could help us as long as we don't get blown out. This could help us still hold goal advantage. All right, we are tiring. All right, we have a couple of yellow cards, but Baumgartner, let's bring Servinka on for him. And uh, Demir, let's bring DeVos on for him. And Grutunk, let's bring Nagy on for him. We'll do the triple subs here at the 68th minute mark. It'll be another minute or two probably before they come in with, you know, the stoppage of play for our sub. Oh, that's a nice ball in. And uh, Georgescu beats Kaiser at the back post. And they get one back. Kaiser's on the ball. Georgescu tried to go get it. That was, that was a rough play. We are going to go ahead with the changes. So we're not going to go to the four back set. And a header. Two scores in four minutes. All right. I'm going to jump into tactics here. We are going to make Cervinka a winger. Let's drop these guys to support. I'm going to drop him to deep line defend. And let's change him up to a box to box on support. Grizel, I'm going to make him a central defender. Yeah, let's do that. And let's jump into the transition, start to slow the pace down. Oh, my goodness. All right, so they've gotten two back, but five to two advantage still. It's 2-2, two -two Barcelona and standard. Rogerson scores in the 72nd minute to equalize. I would really like standard to win that, wouldn't I? I think that's what I would like. Because we've got the win over Barcelona, so that would be, that would keep them behind us. All right, DeVos. Oh, poor pass back to Nagy. They're on a counter. They've got to run up that left. Zeki in the middle. And it looks like we've held them up enough, but there's an overlap. All right, good job. That one's cleared out. Little flick on header. Evers is there. Touches it over to Kernjik. Oh, and he slots it wide. That was a brilliant play by the two strikers. Oh, they needed to do better there. All right, looks like a foul just outside the box. That one misses the mark. If he would have had that inside the post, I think he would have scored. But I think too little, too late now. DeVos tracks that one down. Kernjik. Oh, he breaks through. And he takes a crack from range. It's wide. But that should get us up near the whistle. About 10 seconds left in stoppage time. Good header. We won the defensive header. It's through. Evers is taken down, and that's got to be a sending off. Really, only a yellow. Because he would have been through on goal. That should have been a red. I think that should have been a red card. It wasn't a harsh foul, but because it was because he would have been through on goal, I think that should have been a red. My opinion. But we hold on. 5-2 to two victory. Kernjik with a brace. Evers with a goal. Resnick with a goal. So four goals out of our three, uh, three at the top. Very happy with that. We got one from the midfield as well. Really special. Another Champions League group stage win for us. How crazy is that? They draw. So that actually, does that help us? I'd rather them be three back. Because now if we can't, we need a draw from probably, we need to beat. The Shiktis, and then at least a draw. Now, I mean, they could win all three and just blow the doors off. But, oh my goodness. Simeon with a brace for standard. Well, we are sitting in a much better spot than I expected when we started the season, when we started the episode, when we beat Barcelona last episode. Another $3 million. Kernjik, two goals. Give him a good job and an attaboy. All right, where do we come back? Well, I think what we will do is we'll have uh, we'll have Besiktas highlights and then play Barcelona again next episode. 
And then the following episode, we'll have Billum highlights and we'll play standard on camera. So that'll be the next two episodes to finish out group stage to see how we do. Uh, hopefully we can find a way to sneak through here. I mean, you know, we control our own destiny, but I mean, it's standard and, and Barca, man. I mean, <laughs> this is unexpected. But still, 5-2 win and a 2-1 win. I am so happy about this. Ronnie Evers with two goals, or three goals in two two matches. Well, actually, four goals in three matches here in Champions League. What a signing he has been. Let's jump in, look at the squad real quick. There is our, there's our goal scores. Evers has 10 in 12, 4 in 7 for Demir, 4 in 9 for Kernjik. 3 and 11 for Momsilovich, along with four assists. Resnick with three and seven uh, from when he starts as well. I'm just not sure who our best pairing is up top right now. Honestly, Kernjik has fallen down to a three star with everybody else coming in. And I mean, look, he's making 101,000 a month compared to Ebers on 73.5. He's valued at 15 and a quarter. I am wondering, I think Resnick is a better, I mean, star-wise, he's better. Vicario has really fallen off, not really getting a shake either. Playing a 6-8-5, maybe I give him a run in league games and see what he can do, partnering up with Evers. I don't know, but I hate to bench Kernjik or Resnick. I did try to sell Vicario again in the transfer window. Nobody offered on him. so. But he just scored in uh, in international play for Curacao. And, oh, who was the guy? It was Resnick. Resnick uh, got his debut, international debut for the senior squad and scored a hat trick in his debut. And then uh, no scores. But so two caps, three goals. I think that's who I got to go with. I think that's who I'm going to have to go with. I really like Kernjik. I really like him. I mean, he has had... 53 goals over the last two seasons at this level. I have no reason to think he won't score, but that was when he was the main guy. Maybe he just doesn't have the ability. See, Resnick has much better passing, and I think that's what it was. That opened up opportunities for him. <sighs> yeah, I think that's... We may end up looking to sell him. Maybe in the next window. He's a very, very good striker, but just he does lack the passing ability. He's got great composure, though. My goodness. I don't know. It's hard to bench 53 goals, isn't it? <laughs> decisions, decisions. I guess that's why managers get paid the big bucks. All right, guys, we'll hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments what you think of our Champions League run here in the group stage so far. We're only at the midway point of the group stage. Second in the table there. Long way to go. Long way to go. We'll see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye.